Hello, today we'll be going over the problem Team Tic-Tac-Toe from the 2018 uh, US Open Bronze Contest. And so in this video, I'll be going over the um, problem and also provide a hint to get you guys started. Um, <clears throat> so I guess the main goal of the problem is to uh, figure out, I guess, uh, how many cows or two team uh, two cow teams can claim victory on tic-tac-toe board. Um, okay, so what this means is basically we have a tic-tac-toe board, um, but instead of the conventional X and O's, we have that there are 26 cows and all of them are playing. And so, yeah, each cow, um, each of the 26 cows has uh, like an ID, um, so it's from A to Z, and if you see on this example, you can see that cow C has claimed this spot, and then cow O has claimed this spot, cow W has claimed this spot, and so on. And so, um, like tic-tac-toe, you can win by claiming a row, column, or a diagonal, uh, but unlike tic-tac-toe, since there are 26 teams or cows, you can um, actually form teams of two and win. So uh, let's say the cows X and O's were on a team, then they could claim this um, row. And so that's basically a victory. And so given this board, we want to find, you know, how many uh, individual cows or two team cows can claim victory. And so if we look at the input, we're given uh, what we saw here. And so we're given C O W X X O A B C, and um, if we think about it, the X uh, and O's can claim victory, um, and so can the X and C's. I'll just, I guess, draw this out. So you can see here that uh, this row can win, and also this row. So we have two t uh, two team cows that can win, and no individual cows can win. So that's a zero and a two, and so we're just trying to you know find um, how many of each can win. And so I guess um, this problem is relatively simple, and uh, what. I guess the main focus of this problem is simulation. So I guess think about brute forcing it and basically checking, um, you know, every single possible combination. So um, if we have like a, like a grid like this, then you want to check like all of these rows, so it's three rows, and then three columns, and two diagonals. So since this number is relatively small, you can just try checking all of these. And that, I, I think that's like basically the first hint for this problem, and that should um, be enough. Um, but if you're still having trouble, you can uh, look at the next video where I'll go over the solution. Thank you.